more people went out. They were party hunting. They got on a group of elk. There were four of them. They spread out and they just kept firing. They, it was uh, estimated that they fired over 100 rounds. In North America, wildlife officers estimate that criminals kill as many wild animals and fish as legal hunters and anglers. Poaching robs legal hunters, wildlife watchers, and taxpayers of a publicly owned resource, and it muddies the reputation of legitimate hunters. Well, poachers make people that are good hunters look bad. They give the good hunters a bad name. Illegal takings cost states hundreds of thousands of dollars in lost license fees for fishing and hunting. To crack down on wildlife poaching, states deploy tactics you might see on a popular television crime series. As far as the DNA testing goes, yes, we have all the capabilities that a, a human crime lab would have. But solving crimes involving wildlife can be complicated. Unlike human labs, wildlife forensics handle samples from many species, ranging from bears to bighorn sheep and birds. Cases sent to this lab at the University of Wyoming in Laramie come from many western and midwestern states. And what the forensic scientists find can make or break a case. The ones that we get are the ones that are going to fight, that, want, that are going to plead not guilty, or the real heinous crimes. When evidence arrives at the lab, specialists inspect samples carefully. They're looking for bits of blood and tissue they can swab for extracting DNA. Evidence that can link a drop of blood on a saw or an arrow to an animal carcass left in the field. When there's no blood or tissue, investigators can still extract DNA from other sources. They can use shavings from an antler or hair from a hide. Poachers often kill wildlife to sell their parts. Asian markets buy elk antlers and bear gallbladders to use in folk medicines. Animal parts are also sold for clothing, food, jewelry, and trophies. But some poachers kill just for the thrill of it. Officers used DNA evidence to link the suspects to the elk killed during the shooting spree. They had abandoned essentially eight of the, the tinned carcasses that they uh, had shot. This lab conducts thousands of tests each year on hundreds of pieces of evidence. Skulls, knives, gloves, jackets, even meat from a suspect's freezer. In addition to DNA, these specialists have other tests to analyze and identify samples of blood, teeth, and hair. Their results help law enforcement officers not only convict criminals, but also recover hundreds of thousands of dollars in fines and restitution. Do you want to check my license? Few realize the extent these investigators will go to to solve crimes against wildlife. I've seen forensics done in, in like regular crime cases, so, but I actually wasn't aware that they, that they would do that for, for poachers, too. These forensic experts want would-be criminals to know about all the tools in their arsenal. So a poacher might consider the consequences and think twice before committing a crime. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.